Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a ring haul. I have always worn rings. When I was younger I used to buy a lot of rings from high street stores and the thing is they used to tarnish, they used to break and it really did frustrate me until I bought my first sterling silver ring and after that I was hooked and I just bought loads of sterling silver rings and I filled up all my fingers and I kept all the rings. Now the other day I was looking at my hands and I realised that I didn't really like the rings I was wearing anymore. Um, a lot of them were very childish and a lot of them didn't really mean much to me anymore. And they were sort of associated with past relationships and just things which I didn't really want to remember anymore and I'd moved on from. So I took all of these rings off and then realised that my hands looked really bare without them as I am someone who does love to wear excessive amounts of rings. So I got online and I started shopping and I also went to town and bought a few rings. So I thought I'd just show you the ones I've got and give you a little bit of an updated video as I have shown you all of my old rings in my old My Staple Jewelry video which I'll link below. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I wear now. So I will just show you a close-up of all of the rings which I bought and all of the original rings which I kept on because I did keep a few which I did still like. Um, I'll also tell you where I got them from and sort of an, a roundabout price of them. I can't give you the exact price because some of them I got a while ago. Um, but the ones which I can I will also link below in the description so that you can buy them and see if they're in your size. So just a warning, I bought loads of jewellery in the Black Friday sale, so I did get some of these slightly cheaper than their actual original price. And also, shops like Empty Casket, which I will go further into in a minute, they are quite low on stock at the moment just because of Black Friday and all the recent Christmas sales. So I have found with those kind of shops, if you just keep checking back, they do bring um, sort of rings back, but they sort of bring them a size at a time. So I'm typically a size O. And although there's only a few ring designs which are an O, if you keep checking back to the ring that you like, you will notice that one day they'll just have, say, five O's suddenly, and you can get yours and then set, like, five L's. So they do sort of bring them back in sort of little surges. So this first ring is a thumb ring. Now I have a really odd thumb and this was a sort of th ring I got two or three years ago and one which I just kept on. And I think this ring's very simple. I don't dislike it. I don't absolutely love it but there's nothing really that stand out about it. It does have a little bit of texture on it which I guess is quite a nice feature. And I got this ring from a jeweler's called Essentials. So there are Essentials in quite a few of my local high streets but they do do an online store so you can find rings like this similar in their online store. I don't think you can get this exact ring just because I got it quite a few years ago but they definitely have some very similar alternatives. This ring cost me around £20 and I did get this in store. So my next ring is another sort of original ring which I wore and although this one doesn't really fit in that much with my style it does mean a lot to me. Now it's got an opal in it and this stone reminds me of sort of very mystical creatures, almost like unicorns. It is very sort of pretty colour, it's just not something which I would normally pick out. Now this ring has a lot of meaning to me, it was bought for me by my parents and it was originally in a gold casing with a gold band. Um, I wore this all the way through school and I ended up just wearing the gold way. Just because I do wear my rings every day day in, day out, in the shower, I don't ever really take them off. So they have to be pretty durable to, to last on my fingers. So I had this done in solid silver and it just means it fits in with all my other rings, which is a really good outcome to the whole situation. This ring was purchased in an antique store and it is quite unique. I haven't seen any like this and I do go to a lot of antique stores, but it's definitely worth sort of checking out stores. And I do know that a lot of online shops do sell opal rings so you can get similar ones to this. Just this one is handmade for me, it's made for my f exact finger size so this one is sort of too special to replace. So this next ring is a new one and this is one which I got from a shop called Empty Casket. So Empty Casket is a relatively new jewellery site online, they sell all sterling silver and they sell rings, they sell necklaces, they sell bracelets, they just do a lot of really interesting and slightly alternative jewellery. Now this one is a really dainty ring and it's got seven little skulls on it and they are all lined up. 
Now, from a distance, this just looks like a really dainty little pattern, but I do like all the detail which is in this ring. So there is um, slight darkening within the eyes of each of the skulls, and then the band is just plain and silver on the back, and it does fit in really nicely between two slightly larger rings, just because it slightly breaks up the whole look. I am so pleased with the quality of this ring. It was a ring I was slightly iffy about when I was buying. I wasn't quite sure whether it was going to be a bit too big. I didn't know if it was going to be quite rough because of the actual pattern. But it turns out just to be a very nice and one of my favourite rings now in my collection. And this ring cost me around £12 in the Black Friday sale. Next up is another one of my original rings. And this one is a amber ring. And although I have got a typical orange amber ring, this is a green one. And I got given this for my 18th birthday. Now this was given to me by a family member. And although we're not as close anymore, I do still really like this ring. It isn't something I would have picked out myself. Just because I do think these little hearts on the sides are a little bit girly. But I still do like the overall look of the ring. And I do really love amber as a stone. And this ring is from a shop called Pockets and Purses. Which is one of our local jewellers. And I think it isn't a chain brand at all. I think it is just a single store. So I don't think anyone will be able to find this exact ring. But there are so many similar ones online and green amber is definitely quite a common stone so you could find this in your local jewellers. So last but not least on this pinky finger I have another new ring and this is again from the shop Essentials. And this is a very small and very dainty ring, it's got a clear band and on the front it does have a little skull and crossbones. The little triangles between the bones are cut out, but the eyes are just sort of two dips, and unlike the previous skull one that I showed you, the eyes are not blackened in any way, which is maybe, um, it would have been a nicer touch, I think, but you can still tell that it is a skull and crossbones. I bought this ring very recently from Essentials, so I know that they do still sell it, and I know that they have been selling this ring for a couple of years, so I think it's maybe one of their staple rings to sell. And this ring cost me £11 in store. So moving on to the next hand, I have um, this tiny little stacking ring. Now this was a ring which I bought two or three years ago. I got a gift card for Christmas for accessorise and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to get and I ended up getting this midi ring. Now my fingers are really odd sizes and this actually fitted on my pinky quite well and I do find, especially with this pinky, rings are not normally made small enough so they end up just sliding off. So I use this ring sort of as an anchor so if I get a ring that is slightly too big like this one, this ring just anchors it in place. This ring was part of a sort of multi-pack, it came with some other midi rings, but they were all sterling silver, and this cost me around, I think it was about £10, because I used the whole gift card um, just for this pack, although I only wear this one, I think I've lost the other ones which came with it. So moving down, I have this tiny little pentagram ring, and this was from Empty Casket, the same place where I got the stacked skull ring. And this is a very dainty little ring, and again, it's not too in your face, but when you look at it, it is very detailed. It is, again, just a plain silver band, and then it does have this little pentagram which has been sort of soldered onto it. And this ring cost me around £11 in the Christmas sale. As I said, it is slightly big, and it is kind of annoying when the little pentagram like swizzes around when I'm doing something, but normally it at normal room temperature it doesn't it doesn't move it's only when i get cold or when i just go out sort of first thing in the morning and get in my car i notice that it does twist around a little bit so this next ring is from essentials the same shop where i got the little skull and crossbones and my thumb ring and i got this ring last week so my mum has a very similar ring to this although hers is gold because she does like to predominantly wear gold when I found this I was pretty excited because me and my mum don't really share very similar jewellery tastes but I do absolutely love her version of this ring and when I found it in silver I just couldn't resist but get it. Now I'm not sure if you're that kind of person but I'm the kind of person who loves fiddling and playing and this ring is so addictive to play with. I'll show you why. It is actually three rings. 
but they are all interjoined together. So you can't actually separate them, which means you can't lose any of them, and they do fit all really nicely together and end up becoming the size that your finger needs to fit in. At first I always wondered when I looked at my mum how this wasn't uncomfortable to wear just because all the rings are crossing over but honestly it is really comfortable and it doesn't really get in your way. You can also sort of change the way the ring looks by moving the rings around. I quite like to have sort of one crossing over the front but you can just have them sort of stacked or pretty much however you want these three rings to appear. This ring was again from Essentials and this ring was slightly more expensive, this one cost me £20 but to be fair I was buying sort of three rings all stuck together. So this next um, ring I got, I actually have two of and I got this from the shop Empty Casket, the same place as the Pentagon and also the Skull one. And I got two of these as one of them is for a Christmas present. And I did get my one originally and think, oh, this will suit the person so much that I needed to get another one. So this ring has absolutely beautiful design. It um, sort of reminds me of a sort of Victorian frame. And inside it does have this big black stone. Now my only complaint is that although the gift ring is absolutely fine, my one does have a slight dent in the silver. You can't really tell. It's only really in person that you notice it, and that's just me being very pickety with it. And the site had great customer service. I messaged them about it. I told them that although I had originally got this one as the gift ring, I was able to swap it around with this one. But I did sort of mention that this ring was now a faulty ring. And they did offer for me to send this ring back and get a replacement one. It doesn't bother me that much that I'd go through the whole sort of ordeal of paying for postage and getting a new one, but I am sort of in the midst of talking to him about possibly getting some money off my next purchase, just because I will be buying from the shop again to get some more presents for people and some more sort of different styles of jewellery. This ring is possibly the biggest ring I have. Um, if you look in comparison to all the other ones I wear, it's definitely higher. Um, it doesn't really get in my way. The only thing I'd say is that I ordered this ring in a size bigger than it needed to be, just because it is a lot wider. This ring is my exact size, and I found that when I wore this um, for like longer than three days, it did start to really hurt my fingers, just sort of cutting off the blood supply. They were sort of digging in where I had too much sort of fat on my fingers. And so I, this one was in the size larger and it is so comfortable to wear once you figure out what size you need. And these rings are from the more sort of expensive range um, in the empty casket store and these are £25 each but they do come in a nice little gift box. And then last but not least I have another amber ring which I showed you quickly earlier and this one is an orange amber ring and it's from Pockets and Purses which is the same place the other amber ring came from and this I got for my 16th birthday. And it was a gift where I was given £80 and told I had free range on whatever jewellery I wanted. So I got this one from the proper jeweller's shop. So it is possibly one of my more expensive rings out of the ones I wear. But this one fits so perfectly on my finger. Again, it's a very clear band at the back. And then it has this really nice intricate design. It does almost remind me of sort of a Victorian frame, which I think is why I was so drawn to it. With amber, the stones are always unique as well, which is another thing I love, it's just all the little flecks within it and just the kind of appearance it looks when the sun hits it. So those were all of the rings which I bought. Again, the sites were Empty Casket, Essentials and also a local jewellers called Pockets and Purses, which I'm sure you can find sort of similar alternative shops to that in your area. Now quickly, I just wanted to show you um, the box which the ring um, came in, the, black, the large black ring I got for as a gift. Um, the packaging is lovely. Also with all the other rings I got from Empty Casket, they came in little velvet pouches with um, their little logo on it. And the packaging from this site is absolutely amazing. I think it just sort of puts a cherry on the top and definitely even though the rings can be slightly on the higher pricing range, it definitely makes it worth it when you get sort of nice packaging 
little final touches like this. So although Empty Casket sort of specialise in jewellery, they do do a few sort of little homeware bits and I thought I might as well just show you this as it is from the site. I got this item during the Black Friday sales, although I know that they are originally £9 each. So I'm just going to use this cushion because it's quite hard to show up against my duvet, but it is this little dream catcher. I got this item during the Black Friday sales, although I know that they are originally £9 each. So I'm just going to use this cushion because it's quite hard to show up against my duvet, but it is this little dream catcher. Now I have wanted a dream catcher for ages, but I haven't found one that really suited um, the sort of look I was going for. When I found this, it was absolutely perfect. I really liked the fact that it had the feathers and I just love the little pentagram which um, is made up within the dream catcher. I know sort of typically and traditionally they don't have pentagrams in them, they have more of like a spiderwebby look to them. But I thought this one would fit in with my sort of room really nicely and it was quite cheap as far as dream catchers go. I have seen quite a few sort of gothic ones but they were all very overpriced and none of them really looked that sort of high quality whereas this seems a really high quality and it was a great price so I just thought I would throw this in just to show you sort of some of the other things which Empty Casket do offer and if you do have any questions or requests please leave them in the comments below sorry for my slightly croaky voice um, I am very ill but luckily the school I work at has broken up for Christmas so hopefully I have a little bit of time to rest and get better before the whole holiday gets into a swing. I'm hoping to do a Killstar haul. I know I have really recently done one but literally the day after I put it up um, I went on there and there was a massive sale and I ended up buying loads more dresses. So I thought that I would do another little haul on those. Um, I did get, this is one of the dresses I got, which is the pentagram dress. And I did also get some jewellery in the sale. So I thought I would just show you all of those in a video. And update camera wise, my camera it seems to have been fixed. I did take it to a expert and they sort of worked out what was wrong. And they did do a little bit of cleaning and they got it all sort of sorted. So hopefully there was no more worries with my camera and I should be getting up some more videos this week just to sort of catch up with last week. So I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye! Keep a few which I did still like. Um, I'll also tell you where I got them from and sort of an, a roundabout price of them. I can't give you the exact price because some of them I got a while ago. Um, but the ones which I can I will also link below in the description so that you can buy them and see if they're in your size. So just a warning, I bought loads of jewellery in the Black Friday sale, so I did get some of these slightly cheaper than their actual original price. And also, shops like Empty Casket, which I will go further into in a minute, they are quite low on stock at the moment just because of Black Friday and all the recent Christmas sales. So I have found with those kind of shops, if you just keep checking back, they do bring um, sort of rings back, but they sort of bring them a size at a time. So I'm typically a size O. And although there's only a few ring designs which are an O, if you keep checking back to the ring that you like, you will notice that one day they'll just have, say, five O's suddenly, and you can get yours and then set, like, five L's. So they do sort of bring them back in sort of little surges. So this first ring is a thumb ring. Now, I have a really odd thumb, and this was a sort of th ring I got two or three years ago and one which I just kept on. And I think this ring's very simple. I don't dislike it. I don't absolutely love it, but there's nothing really that stand out about it. It does have a little bit of texture on it, which I guess is quite a nice feature. And I got this ring from a jeweler's called Essentials. So there are Essentials in quite a few of my local high streets, but they do do an online store. So you can find rings like this similar in their online store. I don't think you can get this exact ring just because I got it quite a few years ago, but they definitely have some very similar alternatives. This ring cost me around £20 and I did get this in store. So my next ring is another sort of original ring which I wore and although this one doesn't really fit in that much with my style it does mean a lot to me. Now it's got an opal in it and this stone reminds me of sort of very mystical creatures 
almost like unicorns. It is very sort of pretty colour, it's just not something which I would normally pick out. Now, this ring has a lot of meaning to me. It was bought for me by my parents, and it was originally in a gold casing with a gold band. Um, I wore this all the way through school, and I ended up just wearing the gold away. Just because I do wear my rings every day, day in, day out, in the shower, I don't ever really take them off. So they have to be pretty durable to, to last on my fingers. So I had this done in solid silver, and it just means it fits in with all my other rings, which is a really good outcome to the whole situation. I wasn't quite sure whether it was going to be a bit too big, I didn't know if it was going to be quite rough because of the actual pattern, but it turns out just to be a very nice and one of my favourite rings now in my collection. And this ring cost me around £12 in the Black Friday sale. Next up is another one of my original rings and this one is a amber ring and although I have got a typical orange amber ring, this is a green one and I got given this for my 18th birthday. Now this was given to me by a family member and although we're not as close anymore, I do still really like this ring. It isn't something I would have picked out myself just because I do think these little hearts on the sides are a little bit girly but I still do like the overall look of the ring and I do really love amber as a stone. And this ring is from a shop called Pockets and Purses which is one of our local jewellers and I think it isn't a chain brand at all, I think it is just a single store. So I don't think anyone will be able to find this exact ring, but there are so many similar ones online and green amber is definitely quite a common stone, so you could find this in your local jewellers. So last but not least, on this pinky finger I have another new ring, and this is again from the shop Essentials, and this is a very small and very dainty ring, it's got a clear situation. This ring was purchased in an antique store and it is quite unique. I haven't seen any like this and I do go to a lot of antique stores but it's definitely worth sort of checking out stores and I do know that a lot of online shops do sell opal rings so you can get similar ones to this. Just this one is handmade for me, it's made for my f exact finger size so this one is sort of too special to replace. So this next ring is a new one, and this is one which I got from a shop called Empty Casket. So Empty Casket is a relatively new jewellery site online. They sell all sterling silver, and they sell rings, they sell necklaces, they sell bracelets. They just do a lot of really interesting and slightly alternative jewellery. Now this one is a really dainty ring, and it's got seven little skulls on it, and they are all lined up. Now, from a distance, this just looks like a really dainty little pattern, but I do like all the detail which is in this ring. So there is um, slight darkening within the eyes of each of the skulls, and then the band is just plain and silver on the back, and it does fit in really nicely between two slightly larger rings, just because it slightly breaks up the whole look. I am so pleased with the quality of this ring. It was a ring I was slightly iffy about when I was buying. I was... Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a ring haul. I have always worn rings. When I was younger I used to buy a lot of rings from high street stores and the thing is they used to tarnish, they used to break and it really did frustrate me until I bought my first sterling silver ring and after that I was hooked and I just bought loads of sterling silver rings and I filled up all my fingers and I kept all the rings. Now the other day I was looking at my hands and I realised that I didn't really like the rings I was wearing anymore. Um, a lot of them were very childish and a lot of them didn't really mean much to me anymore. And they were sort of associated with past relationships and just things which I didn't really want to remember anymore and I'd moved on from. So I took all of these rings off and then realised that my hands looked really bare without them as I am someone who does love to wear excessive amounts of rings. So I got online and I started shopping and I also went to town and bought a few rings. So I thought I'd just show you the ones I've got and give you a little bit of an updated video as I have shown you all of my old rings in my old My Staple Jewelry video which I'll link below. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I wear now. So I will just show you a close-up of all of the rings which I bought and all of the original rings which I kept on because I did keep 